Hillary Clinton put out a gun control ad featuring Trayvon March's mother, Sabrina Fulton, Fulton. That's Trayvon March's mother, who is wicked to the core. She failed her son. She failed her marriage. And now she's failing black Americans. This woman's soul is dead. And as well as the mothers of, of uh, Sandra Bland, Sandra Bland out of Texas, and Sandra is the woman that was committed suicide. She had already, according to all the reports, tried to commit suicide prior to going to jail, but while in jail, it's been reported that she committed suicide. They're blaming on racism. These people are no good. Eric Gardner's mother is in this. Eric Gardner is the guy that was selling cigarettes in New York. Big old black guy. And, uh, what? Nothing. Uh, Don, is it Dante? Dante. Dante Hamilton of Milwaukee and Jordan Davids of Florida. So all of these quote unquote mothers are in this act promoting Hillary Clinton and lying about police brutality and racism. Here is the video, and James is going to tell you who the, the children were, well, adult children for the most part, were, so you can get exactly what's going on here. Here is the soundbite to this. My name is Geneva Reed Veal. Gwen Carr. Lucy McBath. Marie, I almost came. Uh, my name is Sabrina Fulton, and my son was Trayvon Martin. I'm the mother of Jordan Davis, the young man who was shot and killed for playing loud music in his car. Trayvon was the person that comforted me. Whenever I was sick, he would make me <laughs> soup. Well, my son was a very gentle individual. Everybody used to call him the big teddy bear. It was very funny going to the store with Sandy. She would rearrange your food. She would even put things back on the shelf because it wasn't good for you. <laughs> she was, it loud was unlawfully arrested as a result of a traffic stop. So she lost her life uh, due to a traffic stop. That's a lie. Dontre was my youngest. Dontre had a smile that would uplift your spirits. Uh, Dontre was killed by a Milwaukee police officer. There was no indictment. The worst day of my life is when I had to bury my 17-year-old son. Each of us has, has lived through our own tragedies, which are all different. I just want people to understand that Sandy was so much more than that orange jumpsuit in the box. Yeah, she was depressed. I read the Michael Brown story. And at that point, it was like, no, not another one. At that point, I decided, um, oh God, give me the tears, that I wanted to be their voice. And as a mother who lost her child, I was going to stand up and challenge the system and continue to tell my story. I can't help Trayvon at this time, but there are other Trayvon Martins that, that I can up. help. It's a story of a lot of young black males in this country. Our young men and women are being murdered and nobody is being held accountable. We're just not going to stand for this now. This is my life work to get justice. Gun violence prevention. Police reform. We need to be accountable to making sure that my community is just as safe as any other person in this country. They're this is what we need right. our officials to recognize. The stakes are too high. The costs are too dear. And I am not and will not be afraid to keep fighting for common sense reforms and along with you achieve those on behalf of all who have been lost. She's been fighting for a long time with these issues. Finally, someone here is really willing to listen and to really stimulate change. I just feel like she's a person who is concerned about the needs of all people. She has a heart to serve. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is so evil that I have no words to just, I, I don't know how to put it. 
These women are all phony, lying, evil women. Along with Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton is absolutely using these people to get the black vote. And where are the fathers? And they all crying and carrying on like they truly feel emotion about it. <laughs> it is evil. These women are lying, and they know they're lying, and everybody in the country know that they're lying, including Hillary. But it's okay because she's doing it to the blacks. And they just tell black people lies, they use racism, and blacks just follow them right into the pole. Like little whatever. So let's start with uh, Sabrina James. She was the first, I believe. Sabrina Fulton is the Trayvon's mother. You talked about him already. Right. Uh, Trayvon's mother is a liar. I've always said she was a, a liar. She used her son's death to profit from it, pretending like she did such an excellent job. And Trayvon was such a good child. He used to bring me water. <laughs> He's a burglar, a thief. I know. <laughs> I want to be... What, gangster or something he said he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he was bounced around from house to house as he was growing up. He didn't totally unstable. Um, his website was at No Limit Nigger. Yeah, that was his, tw his Twitter his profile Twitter, for a while. Yeah, Twitter handle. Okay, the next one was who? Sandra Bland. She was a Black Lives Matter activist. So she was already anti-police and very... Uh, antagonistic with the cop who pulled her over and in texas in texas yeah um and she was i guess gonna work over there or something at the university over there um and she was depressed and had uh had already attempted suicide once and she uh apparently got depressed after three days of not being bailed out by her friends <laughs> of jail they and loved her huh so they she, left her in jail yeah so she Grabbed a plastic bag and hanged herself in jail, and and that mother sitting up, her mother sitting there lying. Oh, she died due to a traffic stop. Uh huh. She died due to a traffic stop. She wouldn't have gone to jail for a traffic stop for a blinker I know. if she hadn't acted the way that she did. The woman sitting there, lying, and I guarantee you, each and every one of those women would claim to be a Christian. You go to their church, they're hooping and hollering and carrying on like 90 going north. The woman sat there and lied in the video. She died due to a traffic stop. <laughs> Your gal committed suicide, according to every report. Anyway, who's the next one? Eric Garner, the 40-something-year-old big guy who could hardly walk around a block or walk one block without having to stop to catch his breath. Yes. He uh, had some type of health issues, and yet he still resisted the police, resisted arrest, and so they grabbed him and tried to subdue him. Uh, apparently, there's argument whether it was a uh, whether a legal chokehold or whatever, <laughs> meaning according to police policy. Right. Um, and he died. He's the I can't breathe guy. That the Lakers Hands wore. Hands up. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe Bryant and all them wore T-shirts saying I can't breathe. What idiots. Yeah. And and his mother called him a big teddy bear. <laughs> he just such a big, and the big teddy bear standing on the corner selling illegal cigarettes or something, right? Yeah. And the, the merchants tried to get him to leave. He would not leave. They called the police. The police came. He would not surrender to the police. And they want to blame police, but they should be blaming the politicians if they don't like the the laws that f that force politicians, I mean, uh, force police to go through with this, enforce the law. Yeah, or blame the big teddy bear for standing there and not and, and selling illegal Lucy cigarettes, cigarettes yep. and not giving in to the officer's demands. Yeah. And she called him big teddy bear. <laughs> What a uh, evil woman. And the next one? The paranoid schizophrenic Dontre Hamilton. I believe he may have been uh, homeless, but he was stopped like outside of a Starbucks or something in Milwaukee. Uh -huh. And uh, the cop was actually fired because he supposedly violated protocol by um, patting this guy down in the wrong way because he was uh, known to be crazy. 
and you don't just do that with a crazy man. This man, Dontre Hamilton, maybe he was a young guy, uh, grabbed the baton and hit the p- cop over the head with it. The cop shot him in self-defense, or the cops did, I don't know. And maybe 14 times. But anyways, it was a legitimate use of force in in self-defense. But uh, the cop was still fired because of the way that he did it. But they're acting like he's the victim when he was hitting the cop over the head with the, with the cop's baton. Hands up, don't shoot. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, is there another one in yeah, there? Yeah, Jordan Davis. This was not ha- did not have to do with police. This is in Florida? Yeah, they were at a, a liquor store or a gas station or something. And Jordan Davis and his buddies were in a big SUV playing loud music. And this white man, maybe with a woman, were there at the location. The white man's all mad, came, just came from a wedding, tired. Turn down that music and they get in an <laughs> argument. How do you know you were tired? <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and so uh, all mad and tired. <laughs> uh, give me an overweight image of a, a mad, tired, angry white man. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, he uh, thought he saw a gun because <laughs> he's yeah. scared of the blacks. <laughs> so he fired into the into the vehicle several times, many times, and killed Jordan Davis. And I don't know if he struck other guys, but he was convicted of attempted murder but i think they tried to get him on first degree murder they may have overcharged him so they couldn't convict him on the murder on the actual murder of jordan davis so uh the blacks are all mad because he was convicted for uh, attempted murder but not actual murder (laughs) and so he's in jail prison gonna be there for a while and uh and they, and, they want and the black boy did not have a gun. No, there, there, was, there was no, no gun, gun at the scene. Yeah, no yeah, the, gun at all. The, uh, so this might be the only legitimate story. Yeah. So they should have just done it with the one mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the rest of them are lying. Right. Were you, like, taking them back in the way that they were acting so sad? One woman asked, and so I decided from that moment... <laughs> When she read Michael Brown, she had flashbacks of her own story. Yeah. And there are other Michael Browns out there. Stupid Sabrina. And Trayvon Martin, yeah. Yeah, she said. And, and she's right. There are others because these parents are failing their children. Yeah. It has nothing to do with police brutality and all that, these lies that they're making up. And then poor uh, Hillary Clinton is the mama of them all. She come riding in on the white horse. The white savior. We going to save you, baby. You saw how she was patting Sabrina on the yeah. back. Well, a white mama is here. Was that we, Sabrina or was that Trey, uh, Michael Brown's mom? I don't know. They all look the same. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think it was Sabrina, though. I'm not sure. But anyway, Hillary patting her on the back. Mama got you. Don't worry. Your welfare check is in the mail. <laughs> You just keep on having these babies and not raising them. Mama, take care of them. They're like totally acting this out like they're telling the truth. So phony. <laughs> it would do to the, their children are dead because they failed their children and the kids had no self-respect, I mean, no respect for authority. 